shall receive one such little child in my name.
you Monday, and you show up Thursday. This big old city is Maybe.
in the hallway. Jesus Christ. You know this Mrs. Andrews pretty well? No, not really. I try to meet all of my neighbors, but I don't get too friendly, if you know what I mean. She live here alone? Uh, yeah, she was divorced, you know. How long have they lived here? Only one of them lives lived here. Debbie, that one. She moved in about six months ago. How long have you lived here? I, I don't live here. I was just visiting. I only talked to her once. I mean, more than just to say hi. And it's right after she first got here. Anyway, she was just kind of quiet. I mean, she just ran around with her girlfriends. How about boyfriends? I never saw any. Anything strange ever happen in here? Strange? No. Mark, uh, uh, come here. Okay, thank you very much. We may get back to you. Thank you. Excuse us. Listen, uh, this is Mr. Kingsley Helms' building. Uh, Mark Jameson. I'm glad Jameson. you can make it down here. My God, this is terrible. You gotta forgive me. I can't stand the sight of blood. <sighs> I was just dozing off when the phone rang. Pretty horrible thing to wake up to. It's terrible. I wasn't expecting anything like this. You see, 
this is a security building. And I, I find it very difficult to grasp. Well, there was no signs of forcible entry. Uh, Mr. Kingsley, we're going to have to ask you to write out a list for us. All the present tenants, anybody that moved out in the last two years. Certainly. I'll be glad to give it to you. You see, I personally screen all applicants, place of employment, references. And my God, what's happened here, it just, well, it just shouldn't have happened to any of them. It's 8.30. Oh, my God. I meant to get up and make breakfast for you. Did you eat? I'm not hungry, Mom. Oh, honey, you can't go without something to eat. Uh, uh, Mom, I gotta run. Bye-bye. I'll get up and make you something. Lori, why didn't you wake me up? I'm going to be late. Well, maybe if uh, you weren't out all night. Where'd you go anyway at 12 o'clock midnight? Hey, how many times have I gotten you up when you slept through the alarm? Boy, you're pretty grouchy this morning. Yeah, that's me in the morning. Hey, I'll be home for dinner. Where do you fix them? Ah, le specialty of the house. Chicken a la TV dinners. <laughs> what, again? Think that. My dad almost saw the guy. I mean, he heard the car start. I can't. No, I know. 
I know, but... Mom always told me that I'd, I'd either end up divorced or with a, a bunch of kids and a crappy job like her. No. No, okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> well, I better go study, because uh, I'm getting pretty embarrassed by this conversation. <laughs> okay. Okay, goodbye. Lori? Who the hell is she? Brazil, 500,000 square miles, 200 million population, settled in 1543 by porch. Damn it, Lori, did you know you left the door open? And where have you been if you don't know where your sister is? Jesus Christ, Joy, with what just happened next door? Well, she's got to be down. Well, look, just, just get me something cold to drink and go get her, will you? I guess that's all we'll need for me now. Joe, you want to take her outside? Looks like the possibility of an assault as well as a homicide, so anything at all would be helpful. Well, I, I've never been in her place before. Of course, we used to see her going in and out of the building, especially in the evening, because I'm, I'm at work uh, all day, every day. I wondered what it was like in here. What I'm trying to find out is who'd want to cut his way in here. Do what? Do you have any impression about her sex life? Well, I, these places are pretty soundproof, you know. Okay, Cameron, I'll take over with him now. Man, you look tired. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? Yeah, could use it. Coffee? No, oh, thanks.
So how are you doing? Oh, just fine. My neighborhood is the target of some maniac, and my sister's been kidnapped. Probably by the same guy. How are you this morning? Take it easy, Joe. Maybe you can help. Uh, last night, uh, you said you knew Deanne DeVore. How well did you know her? Not well. Sometimes after Mama get home, I have to go knock on Deanne's door. Ask her to keep it down. Well, you know, music. Just really loud music's all we ever heard. Good looking girl, huh? I guess so. How about the uh, victims from the night before? Did you know them? Well, I saw their pictures on the news. I sort of recognized one of them. One of them? Yeah. <sighs> Joey, they live 50 feet from your door. They're good looking girls. And you're telling me you only recognize one of them. Hey, what are you getting on my case for? Maybe I wasn't paying too much attention to the news. You really want my help, or am I some kind of suspect? Okay. Last night, give me a story. Like I told you, I got in at about 11.15. Larry Grinnell, Lori's boyfriend, he already told you what time he talked to her. She was alone, right? Yeah, we talked to Larry. We talked to a lot of other people. Now we're talking to you. Now, last night, you told Sergeant Cameron you went to the show. That's right. Who'd you go with? I went by myself. Want me to tell you who was in it? You want to hear the plot? You out late a lot? How about the night before? The night before? Uh, oh, yeah. I got hungry late. So I went out. Alone. Now, your mother said you were home all night. Well, uh, that's what I told her. Now, what about my sister? Is she in the habit of going out at night, too? Maybe staying out all night? Lieutenant, she's 15 years old. So what? She's not that kind of girl. Maybe we ought to ask her boyfriend, uh, Larry, what kind of girl she is. Look, Joey, we got four violent, bloody murders and a possible kidnapping. I'm supposed to think this guy butchered these girls and kidnapped your sister? I mean, it's possible, but it, uh, doesn't make sense. All right. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she saw the murder, got scared, ran away, I don't know. I'm just saying that you need more than a spilled Pepsi to prove that she was kidnapped. Lieutenant, if you won't find her, I will. You know, Joe, I bet you will. Hey, Joe. How's it going? Hi. <sighs> Revisiting the scene, huh? That's not funny, Miller. Well, what are you doing here? I live in the next building. What are you doing here? My uncle owns a place, you know. I work for him sometimes. Did they, uh, they find your sister yet? What do you know about my sister? Oh, it's all over school. She was kidnapped. Larry said it happened, uh, right after you talked to her on the phone. About the uh, same time as that murder last night, wasn't it? Yeah. What do the cops think? Uh, they think she's still alive? I'm sorry. Hey, to hell with what the cops think. They're not even sure she was kidnapped. Well, then what? Kent, you mean you're gonna... Yeah, you got it. On cleanup. Well, the police got about everything they needed. Joey, come here. Doesn't look like he stabbed or anything right here. More like the blood wiped off from his shoes, not like it uh, gushed out of him. Don't you think? This isn't going to get to you? Hmm? <laughs> no, nah, man, it's just a job. I didn't know you had to work. 
If I want to get around, Dad gave me the car when I got to get my own gas. Well, this is where she died. Come here. Look at all that blood. Hey, Joey. You want her a few extra bucks? Uncle Vance isn't going to lie to me as long as uh, this gets cleaned up before everybody moves out. A lot of glass. Must have cut her with the bottle. Well, he sure chased her around this room. There's blood all over these walls. You shouldn't be here. It doesn't matter who's paying you to be here. You shouldn't be here. Well, sure I should. You can take it. It's not going to ruin me. It's not even going to touch me. Not the way it would my Uncle Ben. You knew Kathy. Kathy Kingsley. Yeah. Your cousin. I was terrible, that wreck. She, uh... She was a sophomore, right? Kind of small and pretty. Yeah, really, really pretty. Sorry. Well, it didn't happen all that long ago. Something, uh, terrible happens and, uh... It really stops everything for you. Hey, Kent. You want to help me with something? Kent? Oh, yeah, sure, what do you want? Well, let's see. We'll need some solvent and glue. If we're really going to find out what's happened to Lori, we're going to have to break the police seal on the door and then replace it. You know, it's funny, but Lori used to be kind of interested in you. She even asked me one time if I could fix her up with you. But I told her you were out of her league. <laughs> You're kidding me. She's a fox. Hey, don't worry, Joey. Lori will be okay. It's your turn, sir. Joey, it's a lot worse than the last one. Oh, God, that's her. She sure was pretty. Hey, Kent. That's disgusting. There's nothing around here. Let's go back to work. Nail gun. What? He got her with a nail gun. You know, it's one of those things you used... Come on, let's go. I can smile at her 
when she knows I've been lying. If love's a game I've broken every rule, and I can turn and walk away when she's crying, I've got everything it takes to be a fool. She always finds a way to lift me up when I'm blue. Joanne. Oh, Al. Hey, listen, Joe, you didn't have to show up today. Not this early, anyway. You want me to stay at home? What do you mean? You go home and get some sleep. I'll call Pam and ask her to film me. I can't. I can't. Stay home or be still. I've got to be out. Okay, good lady. Glad to have you. Thank you, Al. I, I never could stay at home. Kids were always so good, I figured, well, she must be doing something right. Lori's close, Al. Yeah? I mean, I, I feel it. I can just sense it somehow. I keep thinking any minute I'm going to look up and she's going to be just standing there. Well, she'll call. She could call him. She, she will when, when she gets the chance. Oh, Al. <laughs> I said that Doc gave Uncle Vance some kinds of pills, but still, I won't wake him up if he's sleeping, so let's be careful and put that stuff away. My friend Joey, Joe Bally. He's gonna help me clean out of this, okay, isn't he? We uh he brought back some of the stuff we're looking for the roller's gonna start paying tomorrow. Uncle Vance, you okay? I was just fixing something to eat. Hey, that sounds great.
double L I P O P spells lollipop. <laughs> mm. I bought you a lollipop. Mm. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Hey, you're all messed up. What a mess. <laughs> yeah. Brush you a little bit there. There. Isn't that better? Crying? You've been crying? <laughs> Why? Mm -hmm. You got everything here. I mean, Kathy'd want you to have it. You remember Kathy? Hmm? Do you remember what happened to my Kathy? Hmm? She was prettier than you. She was so young. God, she was young. But the best are always taken when they're young. I think maybe God wants it that way because the world would ruin them. I, I tried to keep her right, to keep her good. But today, in this world, I think that's impossible. Hmm? You see, it's such a bad, world. Laurie, it's bad. It's evil. Full of evil. Ah, terrible people. But you see, if you get rid of the evil, <laughs> then all that's left is good. <laughs> Life is so simple. I mean, it really should be simple. Life, I mean. We, we mess it up, don't we? You take that woman. Ah, poor, sick woman. A Miss Andrews, she drunk, oh, filthy, dirty, so dirty. Ah, but God knows, I'm humane, I'm compassionate. I did it very quickly, as quickly as I could, because I never want to cause suffering. You know, like on the farm when you take care of an old dog or an old horse. No suffering. Mm. That woman, that woman that lived downstairs from you, I stood and I watched her. She didn't see me. Oh no, she didn't see me. But I watched her and she did the terrible things to her own body. I mean, unnatural things. Unnatural, 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 unnatural. It's also ugly. An ugly world. <laughs> Don't you need your lollipop? Hmm? Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Here. Ah, there. There. I'll take these off, too. My little girl. My little Kathy. I'm sorry, baby. I am so sorry. You better not eat the lollipop now. I want you to eat your lunch. There, baby. My little girl's got to eat. That's your favorite sandwich. Whoa, here, let's come to a bit there. Don't cry. Please don't cry. And drink some milk, just to swallow. Come on. More milk. I remember. You never liked milk. <laughs> I'll be climbing Jacob's ladder. I'll be climbing. You know, I shouldn't have told you about that. But that never will happen to you. Never. And you know, the others, 
they were all committing unnatural acts with each other. All. I know it. It's because they were never taught what was right when they were little. Nobody to teach him. And he grew up, it was too late. They were too old to learn. And the Bible says, if one of thy members offend thee, cut it off. but good left. I mean, that's when I saw you again. And it has, it has been good, hasn't it? Huh? I mean, everything and everybody's been so nice to me again. The police were nice this morning. Oh, the police are nice every time they talk to me now. I didn't say it, but I, uh, they know that I... I, I've been sad. I have been sad. I've been sad, Kathy. Kathy. Kathy, Kathy. Oh, my baby. My little girl. My Kathy, my baby. Daddy? Hmm? Daddy, my wrist hurt. Oh. Oh, yes, I know. I have to put them together again. Hmm? Oh, no, no, Daddy, don't do that. Please don't do that, Daddy. I must. Please don't. I must. Kathy, I must. You know I must. I know what you've been through, my darling, my little girl. But I'm doing the best I can. Don't cry. Don't cry. Do you... Tell me. Did it hurt much? I mean, when God took you away from me, did that hurt when you died? No. No. Dying's easy. It's over in a second. <laughs> this hurts worse. <laughs> But I can't bear to lose you again, Kat. <laughs> What's it like? What's it like where you are? Well, that's all. Well, that's all purple. That's a lot of purple. And you never get to see God. And it's like you're flying around. And you... You know... What everybody else is... Is thinking. And, and you know all the answers they want to know. And, and you're real close to them. If they only knew it. And you can't tell them anything. Because, because they can't hear you. Oh, baby. Papa loves you.
some privacy for the kind of questions I gotta ask you. Uh, what time do you get off? Not till after two o'clock. Yeah. Well, I'm off at one officially. Uh, maybe I could just hang around here until you're ready to go. Look, when I finish here, I go straight home to my children. So if there's something you need to know, the sooner the better. I'm sorry. Listen, could I have just a couple of minutes with you? for Lori. I'm at a dead end. I'm fishing. I understand. You must think it's kind of funny my being here, but I'm, I'm just trying to get through. I'm, I'm just doing what I know how to do till, till she gets home. I know. We're, we're both used to working long hours. Look, I gotta ask you something, and it's gonna sound lousy. Does Lori kind of flirt? I mean, girls today, they all seem to get around. As a matter of fact, she's rather immature for her age. The last few years, she's gotten crushes on boys a few years older than she is, but she never let them know. Now she's... She's going out with just one boy. Her, her own age. Going out with? Just going out. How about Lori's behavior that would... Has she mentioned to you any men in the neighborhood, maybe, that uh, seem interested in? <sighs> maybe you and I ought to get together and we ought to... Just find Lori, please.
I thought I'd sing it to you, because we haven't done that in a long time. <clears throat> Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child a long way from home, a long, long way from home. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joe. Hi, Joe. Are you looking for the next victim, Detective Jameson? He says the uh, glasses are police equipment. Come on over here and take a look. Maybe you can find something. I don't get it. Well, I haven't got it either. That's the point. See, the killer is a repeater. A planner. Now, he could live somewhere in the neighborhood, and he could have learned the uh, habits of the victim with... Well, who knows? He might not have even needed these. Did you uh, turn up any leads at home? No, sir, I haven't. How did he do it? I mean, how did he kill Mrs. Andrews? He killed her with a drill. Well, the way you look at it, the murderer's a guy... The murderer's a guy who knows what he's doing. I mean, we got three apartments, one forced entry. Uh, it leads me to believe that he conned his way into the other two. What if he didn't? Huh? What if he didn't con his way in? What if he didn't have to? Oh, good thinking, kid. Now, what did he do? Find the key under the doormat? Nice guy, huh? Say about average. Well, I better get started. Oh, listen, Joe, you don't have to. I mean, uh, I wouldn't cry if you didn't help. I could do it nice and slow, and uh, besides that, I uh, wouldn't have to split the money with you. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> hey, really, I got to check in with my mom. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Mom, I need the car keys, okay? I'm just going to go down. That person. Where's your purse? Okay, Mom, I got him. I'll see you later.
Uncle killed all those women. And he's got my sister. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Keep your voice down. Keep my voice down? Come here, look at this stuff. See this? Yeah. Drill bit? Yeah, drill bit. And look a little closer. This is blood. <laughs> is this what you've got? A rusty old drill bit? <laughs> but look at this stuff. Here, take a look at this. Is this just rust? And there's a lot more. And look at the... Ken, are you crazy? Don't point that thing at me. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, Joey. Now listen, there's stains all over this stuff, and I'm telling you, it's blood. Now they got tests they can do to prove it's human blood. And if it matches someone's blood that's been killed. <laughs> Joey, you're crazy. Hey, it must be the strain. Look, suppose you walk around saying silly things like that. Just suppose, for the hell of it, that that uh, dumbass Detective Jamison believes you. It could uh, cause a lot of trouble for my uncle. Joey. Very well thought of. So you see, I gotta protect my family. Ow, oh, my eyes! Ken, I won't tell anybody. Well, I won't tell anybody, Ken. children they're playing or oh, they scream a lot sometimes all over the weekends don't be afraid <laughs> oh you used to play loud too when you were little you remember when you were a child my little child <laughs> did you know something i was the only one who understood you the only one 
I understood your youth and your high spirits and your gift for life. Hmm? <laughs> and you, you always understood me too. Truly, you were the only one. That's why you're my little girl, my very own. You're my child and you always will be. See? Always. I love you. I do love you. And here, it's all safe here. And nice. And protected. Just for you. And it's pure. And clean. And perfect. <laughs> Just for you. I kept it that way. <laughs> and Kent. Hello, Kent. It's your cousin Kent. Mm -hmm. Well, he helped. I mean, Kent always helped. He took you places that you wanted to go. Yes, he did. And he kept the boys from hurting you. And he kept those nasty boys from trying to touch you. And Kent, I want to thank you for that. Uncle Vance, what you've done. Kent, you've always helped me, and you always will. You're sick. You're insane. I never helped you. Never helped you protect Kathy. Yes. Kathy and I. Daddy and I went to each other so hard that it hurt. Mm. All those times. Mm. Every time we could get away. Every hour we could find alone. Mm. We'd make love. We made love. We made love. <laughs> we made love. No! 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 Thank you. 
Give me a minute. I hardly walk. Joey's gone away. And your uncle has gone away. Trust me. 
पीर क्या था